Hey guys, in this video we're using Toolpath to help us program this aluminum fixture for an upcoming part for Autodesk University. Stay tuned and I'll show you how we did it. So here's the fixture we're working on. It looks to me like it'll be a two setup part and we've got locating features here. So our part's gonna sit on top and I'll show you the part. So this is for op two, we'll need the fixture and we'll register uh, each side of the part up against these pins that are machined and we'll hold it down with screws. Well, let's hop over into Toolpath. And here we have the part loaded and we can see some of the problem areas. Um, I already know that I have a drill that will fit this, but um, let's click on these challenging holes. So it looks like Toolpath is telling us to reduce the diameter from 121 thou to 120 thou so that we can use our number 31 drill, which is what I was planning on using in the first place. Let's check out the machining directions. And we can see this dark blue is setup one and the lighter blue is setup two. Turn on our stock. Let's export this to Fusion. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard, hop back into Fusion and let's click import program in the add-in and we're gonna paste our ID. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at these tool pads. We'll flip the part over and tool one is what we're using for facing, which is what I've told Toolpath that I wanna use my Alu Rough preset for facing with this tool. That looks okay. We could probably clean up the facing operation on that. Tool two. We've got a finished floor, finished wall. We're using a 3 16 to come in and do those counter bores and clean them up. And then we hit the chamfers. So not too bad. Uh, I think I would change these chamfer selections. It looks like it kind of missed them here. So I'm just gonna click out of that and click that chamfer there. And we should have a nice, yep, there we go. We have a nice chamfer right there. So that doesn't look too bad for op one. So for the most part, we have op one fully programmed. Let's go simulate it and we'll see how this looks. Perfect, let's check out setup two. So let's activate that. Looks like we have a facing operation here, adaptive roughing strategy. We've got a facing operation, which this facing operation is just facing the top of the part. We can do that a lot better by just selecting the geometry here so that it's only facing those top little studs. So that's easy. Finish wall. We're gonna drill out this hole here and now we're boring it out. Looks like it's boring it. And then we hit our chamfers with tool 10. So overall, not, not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at the simulation. With a couple tweaks to our tool pads, we're also gonna to need to add those drills, but we're basically ready to go and throw this on the machine. I feel pretty confident about it. So let's go do that. All right, so we've used Toolpath to help us program our part. Now let's get this chunk of aluminum in the Speedio and start making chips. First, what we're gonna to have to do is load up our stock in the vise. Here, let me show you. Let's take our stock, pop it in the vise. Now we gotta tighten it down. So I'll go over here get my torque wrench out. Make sure it's set up for tightening. Okay, we hear that click. Put it back in our drawer. So now I just have to touch off this drill that I've loaded up in the spindle. So we'll shut the door, go to memory, enter and start. There we go. Looks like op one came out really good. Let's flip the part over and run op two. Well, 
Well, that's OP2 completed, and you can see how useful Toolpath was for helping us program this fixture. If you guys want to try Toolpath out for yourself, check out the link in the bio. We've got a 14-day free trial. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.